Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Donella. First things first, my hair is growing out and there's like this gray streak. I don't know what that's about. <clears throat> Excuse me. I also started a new job. So I'm still going to try to post every Wednesday. As you guys could have seen last week, I took a video that I edited previously. Um, and I didn't have like a, like a closing or anything like that. Um, sorry about that. Um, I was just really tired and wanted to go to sleep. <laughs> so I just sort of threw something at the end there and just posted it. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. I do have a lot of Mandela Effect videos coming up. I've been doing some research. And while I was doing some research, I ended up coming across this Twitter thread. Um, it was posted a while ago. Um, so, it, so it was, I guess it was posted a while ago. I found, like, the website since I'm not on Twitter right now. Um, I don't really remember my Twitter password. But I ended up finding this viral Web, like this website about this Twitter thread that went viral, um, and it's about how the world actually ended in t 2012. Um, and I've read two articles. One was called Barstool, Bar Barstool Sports, um, and I'll post these down below. I didn't think the Barstool Barstool one was, um, it like left out stuff. Um, and I ended up finding one that got more into it, so I'm going to read from that one. That one is called Upworthy, um, and it's, yeah, it's like megaphone.upworthy.com, which will be posted in the description down below. Um, but it says, like, there's a conspiracy theory that the world ended in 2012, and it makes sense. And uh, while I was reading this... I was like, maybe, they just, once you guys, like, listen to it, I think, I mean, I don't know, but it does make a lot of sense. So, let's get into it then. So, this Twitter thread, the washing machines going downstairs, <laughs> um, but this Twitter thread says, um, he's like, I wanted to talk about this subject for a while now. This is a guy named Nick Hinton. I can talk. He said, I wanted to talk about this subject for a while now. The other day I had a random urge to look into it again and read some old stuff, you know, just for fun. Ever since then, I've noticed other people talking about it. But the strangest part is, I cannot find anything online about it anymore. Like I said, you can find people talking about it casually or joking about it. But I cannot find... Excuse me. I cannot find any of the in-depth material I read before. This has actually been really frustrating for me because I have nothing to refresh my memory while writing this. I found a few things here and there that are helping me piece this puzzle together again. But I know there used to be so much more out there. I can't even remember the first time I've heard this theory, but it comes somewhat of a meme. I did find a video of Max, that child genius from YouTube, touch on the theory, but I didn't. don't think he's the first to talk about it. I th think it originally was some girl. Then he goes on to say about... So the world actually ended in 2012. Well, it was the year scientists at CERN finally found the Higgs boson, boson, something. You know, the particle Stephen Haw Hawking predicted could destroy the universe or his own words caused the universe to undergo a catastrophic vacuum decay. Like, it's, and like, this is, I'm trying to, and it's, like, a website, so, like, I have to figure out, like, what goes where. 
But it says, well, what would happen if we destroyed the universe? Would we know? Maybe sin actually created a black hole that sucked us in without us even noting, noticing. And we've been living in it some physicists actually believe this is possible. So, side note. Um, so, from what I've researched and what I've like learned in school and stuff is that I guess when people fall into a black hole, they split into two. So if me and, or you and your friend were out in space and your friend got sucked into a black hole, they would split into two. You would see the, you would see like the copy of your friend because like they split into two. You would see your friend's copy getting sort of like burned up and then the other part of it will get like sucked in so what this guy is basically saying is that the world went into this black hole copied in the two and like we're in like this parallel universe which is why and he goes in to explain it which but that's why like the mandela effects happen and stuff because like we're in a like completely different like universe um, he goes on to say there's this old cliche argument that nothing has felt right since 2012, and I agree with this. Maybe it has something to do with growing up and getting older, but ever since then, it seems like the world, excuse me, descends more and more into chaos each day. Time even feels faster. There's some sort of comedy happening almost daily. Um, did we all die? I don't really believe that, but some people do. Maybe we're in a similar similar situation to the characters in The Good Place. Now, again, sorry about this, but I forgot to mention before, I think I've read this before. Like, back, and this might be something, maybe I was just thinking about it, but I could have sworn that this was... Like 2013, 2014, I remember talking to people about it, or 2016, and I don't think The Good Place was on TV then. Um, it might have been, but he's using thing like using like The Good Place as something, and I don't remember reading that the first time. Like when I, I think I actually saw it on Twitter, but I think it was like. I always thought it was like 2013, like right after 2012, but now I don't think so, which is kind of confusing because I was, I remember talking to people about it, like when I first got into college and I was starting to make like new friends and stuff and I was like saying about this in Twitter thread. But now it's like from this says July twenty fifth of twenty nineteen. So I don't know. This is like when he's posting this, and I could have sworn it was a lot longer than that that I've seen this. But he says, like I've said before, I think we live in a series of simulations. Perhaps the universe was destroyed by CERN and our collective consciousness was moved into a parallel universe next door. It would be almost identical. Which is, again, like the, what I said before with like the universe sort of splitting and it like takes us into like this parallel universe, which is similar, but it's not. He's like, in fact, people out there who are reporting small differences in this reality and one that, and one they remember before 2012. This is a phenomenon of often, often referred to as the Mandela Effect. Below is one of the most famous M.E.s. So he's going to start calling Mandela Effects M.E.s from now on. He's like, some people remember Febreze rather than Febreze. Some people remember Skechers instead of Skechers. Like, with a T instead of just C-H. So, Looney Tunes instead of Looney Tunes. T-U-N-E-S. J-C-Penny. J-C-P-E-N-N-Y. 
instead of J-C-P-E-N-N-E-Y. The list goes on. If these don't look or feel right to you, you're not alone. Um, then he says, the name comes from Nelson Mandela, who many people believe to have died in prison in the 18, in, in the 80s. However, to many people's surprise, his funeral was nationally news in 2013, and he had lived a long and happy life. Mandela effects much, gets much creepier, though. Some people remember the Statue of Liberty being in total different locations, that location being Ellis Island. It's actually on Liberty Island, and I'm actually going to do a video on a few of these. So, um, if you guys want to see that, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. So, you guys, so I know that you guys want to see that. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to um, make sure that you see that video. I'm not ending it here. I just wanted to point that out. Um, so then it's a, he goes on to say that here's a picture clearly depicting the statue at Ellis Island with no one, no other islands nearby. Was the artist just not paying attention? Did he just like it better? This way, LOL, I don't know. So now if that's not strange enough, if you go to Google Maps, Street View, there's a few specific areas of this, of Liberty Island where the Statue of Liberty is just gone. Residue from previous timelines. The account uploading these strange pictures go by the username of August Bertholdi. Don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, that's the designer of Lady Liberty himself. The account also sports his picture from the 1800s. His Google, he's Google approved. Apparently, right before the United States entry into World War One, the Germans committed the first act of terrorism on U.S. soil. It was considered one of the largest artificial non-nuclear explosions to have ever occurred. I'm wondering why I didn't hear about this in school. I don't remember hearing that about in school either, which is weird because you would think they. I always thought Pearl Harbor was like the worst one. But I guess, like, because everybody was so shocked about Pearl Harbor, but there was another one. Um, and I'm just, I'm going to skip over a few of this right now. Um, um, the Statue of Liberty's torch is closed to the public. It has been closed for over a hundred years. There's only one problem, though. People remember going there. And then he is posting pictures, and he's like, were they time travelers? Um, you can see the pictures of like people in the torch. And then he also shows a picture of like people walking up the steps to nowhere. There's like a picture of it, which is like really weird. Like why are they walking up the steps? <laughs> Um, then he's, like, talking about, like, this, um, simulated world, which actually sort of reminds me of, like, the memes, um, if you guys haven't seen them, it's, like, um, it, like, says something about when you walk into a room and forget what you're doing, it's God playing The Sims, and he just deleted your action, and I think that's, like, so strange because like I don't know if you I'm a big sims person but if you play the sims there's a part like on the computer where it's like they play the sims and so it's like god I'm, um it's like god is playing the sim like playing you as the sims and you're playing your sims and then they're playing Sims, so are their Sims playing Sims? It's like this big simulated world, which, so like, he goes on to explain that, and he's like, he explains like, at, is it, no, he explains it as the Russian nesting dolls, but like, you have one inside of another, inside of another, inside of another. Basically what I just said about the Sims. Um... I'm like, 
trying to skip over this, some of this, I don't really even understand. Like, he goes in to explain, like, about spider webs and stuff. Um, he, like, even shows, like, time wave charts, which I don't understand. Um, and he also, like, but, so then he goes on to explain, he's like, according to that, According to him, there was a very abrupt wall there. What the wall is he talking about? I think I missed something. Um. Oh, he's talking about the book, um, de detailing time travel experiments. Um. And then he goes on to tie it to Stranger Things. Um. He's like, both are loosely based on these exposed experiments. Um, you know, it's this long thing, and I'm already at, like, 16 minutes right now. Um, but it's like, he also then talks about the end of history. Events still happen, but humanity has reached the end of a social, socio-culture evolution. This theory has nothing to do with time travel. Or simulations, but rather the stagnation of human progress. So what he's ba basically saying there is that the um the world like will no longer evolve. Like once it's done, it's sort of done, and that's why we're remembering things differently because it's not evolving. That it's just sort of stopped. Um, and then he like sort of ends it there. Um, you know, but what do you guys think? Um, I don't know. I came across that and I was, conf I wasn't, I was confused, but at the same time I wasn't because that's just so weird and bizarre. Like, I remember seeing that. Um, and then he, like, goes in, and it makes, to me, it makes a lot of sense. What do you guys think down in the comments below? Do you think it makes sense? Um, is it something, and I love doing these videos, um, if you guys like these videos. Um, I do like doing these videos, because then we can have, like, a discussion in the comments afterward, which is something that I really like doing. I like having, like, that conversation. Um, and I love hearing your guys' opinions. Um, and again, this is just my own opinion. Um, you know, I just like posting things on here, and hopefully you guys do too. But with that being said, I'm going to end the video here. If you guys like it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys can see when I post new videos. I love you guys, stay safe, and I will hopefully see you next week. Bye!